Hello, my name is Caroline Brown. I've come today, please, to ask for £80,000 of your money for 30% of my company. The Huntingford Company is passionate about thinking up devices for people as they get older, and I'd like to position myself to be the essential friend for the over 60s. When I was nursing, when I was a bit of an old bag, obviously I had to retrain as a nurse, and I did it in the district, which was brilliant. I really enjoyed myself. But I did come across two huge problems that crept up frequently. This is the sticks day. It's again, sticks, if you have anything to do with sticks, have one mission in life, and that is to hit the deck, and it's a real nuisance. So they can be positioned anywhere. My ambition is to have one next to every single loo in the country. And the other thing was older people that found it difficult bending down to pick up the pet bowls from the floor and all the rest of it. So this is the most amazingly simple, easy feeder. Just like that, you can, they click on and off very easily. Problem solved, no bending. Thank you for your time, thank you. A jaunty pitch from entrepreneur Caroline Brown from Dorset. With the UK's ageing population in mind, she's created simple solutions to back-breaking problems and needs £80,000 to take her inventions to market. But Peter Jones looks perplexed. I don't have much experience in this, so there's, there are times in the den where you've got to draw on expertise of yes. certain dragons, you know, from Theo's retail experience, logistics with Hillary, marketing, you know. But this type of product for the old age individual. I'm going to have to sit quietly and listen to see what Duncan thinks. Yes, yes, I, I know Duncan's background. What he's referring to is my age. Oh, no, no, really? no, care home experience. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, touchy. I actually think that's quite a neat little product. Yes. Um, you've got cats. <laughs> it is. If you don't mind me saying, though, I, yes. think I find this other thing ridiculous. Right. It isn't, Peter. Is it not? No. I'm, I'm, I'm really missing it. My mum, God bless her soul, would have loved that. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. What normally happens? People... Well, you, what normally happens... I mean, I don't know, but it won't do it now because of what not's law. But if you leave a stick leaning up against something, it will fall. Far easier just to click your stick in and have to hoik it up from the floor again. For once, it's a dragon who's taught a lesson in the den as the confident entrepreneur brings Peter Jones up to speed. But how will Caroline fare under the scrutiny of Deborah Meaden? So, is there anything to your knowledge that exists, for instance, like that pet bowl? No, th there are other things for pets on like a, a st uh, step, but that is from the pet's point of view, so the pet doesn't have to bend down. It doesn't help the owner. Um, th this one... I've got one with a handle already. Yes, is that... Yeah, I know the one you mean, but again, it's not a very long handle. Mm, oh, no. no. You're right, it, it, it's it, not it, as long as that, but it's quite a long handle. Yes, but it, again, you'd have to bend down. So uh, have you got any interest? The interest that I've received, uh, apart from just generally everybody sort of surrounding, but you can't really count family and friends because I think they're probably a little bit biased. But Pets at Home, um, I've just entered an innovation contest they had for new pet products, which is nice. And the Royal College of Nursing is taking a huge interest in the Sticks Day. A fledgling company, perhaps, but Caroline's products seem to be creating quite a stir. Now, Duncan Bannatyne wants to drill down into the numbers. Um, what did it cost you to make? The stick stay cost about 50p, 60p. What did it sell for? Individually, I think I'd sell them for about three pounds to say to councils to for lose and things. That's what I've done. I would probably make about one pound fifty. Okay. There's a huge market out there. There's about ooh, 12 million ish of us that are now a pensionable age. Caroline. I think that's ingenious. Simple, but does what it says on the tin, so brilliant. The pet food bowl, there's millions and trillions of them. But nobody wants to bend down. 
And in fact, a lot of people say you don't have to have any disability to want these anyway. We all have remote controls at home. We can easily fiddle with the television, but we feel we don't want to. But I'm not even sure having that pole, especially for a bigger dog, is going to be any good because once that bigger dog moves around with his tail, he's likely to knock that over. Yes, um, yes. It so has an on-slip. So yeah, but it's, it's not the side. slipping, it's no. the, the tipping. Thing. It's the tipping. <laughs> I have big dogs. Yes. And they, they are clumsy. I'm not going to say don't do it. I think no. that's brilliant. Keep following <laughs> your dreams on that one. But thank I shan't you. be investing. So I'm afraid I'm out. Well, thank you for your time anyway. A blow for Caroline as she loses her first dragon. But there are still four multimillionaire investors left. And Peter Jones looks ready to show his hand. It's a nice product that has a, a use. You've proved it. But I can't see how you can make a business out of those two items. I don't think for £80,000 I'd ever see any money back. And if I can't see it, I can't invest. No, no, so I'm no, going to right. say politely, I'm out. Thank you, anyway. Thank you for your time. Um, I actually, if I were you, I'd concentrate on that and spend your time. That's your background. That's where your contacts are. I would concentrate on that and get that sold into the NHS, care yes, homes, whatever, because I think that is neat. It's just, it's you, you've got to sell too many at such a low unit cost to give an investor a mm. return. So I'm afraid I won't be investing. I'm out. Right. Um, I know quite a lot of old people, and I know from my mother's disability. She waited and waited and waited and waited. In fact, she hated to be seen with a stick. Oh, yes. No, no, I can sympathise with that. Yeah, yes. you know, she, she would hide it yeah. rather than let people know she needed a yeah. stick. I applaud the thought and the care that you've put into these products. But for me, it's not a commercial investment. No. So, unfortunately, I'm out. Three dragons out in quick succession and the well-mannered entrepreneur's hopes of investment now rest solely with Duncan Bannatyne. I can see a need for it, but this is a very, very, very limited market. Limited? Yeah. <gasps> I, I, I did invest once in, in, in a company that sold this type of product, these oh. type of aids, yeah, and it, it is a very, very difficult market. So I can't see how I can possibly sell fast enough to make enough money to give an investor a return. So for that reason, and that reason only, I'm going to have to say I'm out. Right. Anyway, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. It was an unusually courteous pitch, but the cruel reality is that Caroline leaves the den with nothing.